What's up y'all, it's your girl saying, and today we're gonna be reacting to a video clip from CNN. So apparently in the past 24 hours of me recording this, a missile went off in Poland and basically everybody was like, oh, Russia shot a missile into Poland. Ah, everybody was going crazy. I wake up this morning and now they're just like, oh, so our intelligence tells us that uh, Ukraine actually set that off into Poland, which Poland is a NATO nation, I believe. So everybody's like, oh, what's about to happen? They about to enact article, what is it, five, I believe. And then more information came out where Poland was like, oh, we knew it was a mistake. It's good. We ain't, we ain't got no beef. There's a lot of people that saw the information and was like, oh, well, that was a mistake. That was a mistake, no biggie. But the same people, when it was like Russia doing it, they was like, I can't believe Russia would do that. Rawr! So I'm just like, oh, y'all are kind of tripping and crazy. But let's see what CNN has to say about it. I don't usually go to them for my news personally, but because it says US intelligence believes Ukraine fired missile that landed in Poland, I just want to see what they got to say. I just want to see what they got to say. I, it's seven minutes long. I don't know if I'm going to watch all seven minutes if they just repeating themselves, but let's just see what's going on. But we begin this morning with the breaking news. We are now learning it was not Russia that fired a missile into Poland that killed two people overnight. Obviously, Russia and Poland is a member of the military alliance known as NATO. But instead, initial U.S. Assess assessments are that it likely came from Ukrainian forces. This development comes as NATO ambassadors are holding an emergency meeting this morning to discuss the deadly explosion. Kevin Zliptak is CNN's Kevin Zliptak is live for CNN this morning in Bali, Indonesia, where the president just left a few hours ago. Kevin, what's your reporting this morning? Yeah, two officials who are familiar with this uh, initial U.S. assessment uh, say this assessment says that the uh, missile did not originate in Russia, but that it originated uh, in Ukraine. And we do know that Ukraine uses Russian made missiles in its air defense systems. And it does seem as if this is what President Biden uh, was alluding to when he emerged after crisis talks here at the G20 and said it, that it was unlikely that this missile originated in Russia. Of course, he wanted to say that he wanted to be definitive. He wants to look at all of the intelligence first uh, before he can come out and say uh, with any certainty where this missile originated. And I think that's because of the implications that are at stake here. Poland, of course, is a member of NATO. You have Article 5 which is the common defense treaty an attack yes, against right. one is an attack against all mm -hmm. and certainly president biden and other western leaders want to be absolutely sure that they know where this missile originated uh, before they come out and say so definitively now we do know that this assessment was a topic of discussion among the leaders when president biden convened them at his hotel here in bali members of the g7 some uh, members of nato states we also understand that it will be discussed in Brussels today as NATO members uh, begin talking about a way forward, talking about this analysis. Now, what a National Security Council spokesman said is that the U.S. will support Poland's ongoing investigation, and this is still being investigated. They're sort of bringing out the pieces of this missile, putting it back together, trying to figure out where it came from. And we also heard uh, from an advisor to the Ukrainian president, Vladimir Zelensky, who did not deny reports that this missile originated in Ukraine, but essentially said that any casualties in this war are a responsibility of Russia uh, because it began this conflict. Mm -hmm. Caitlin. Great report. So I think that's where I'm confused at. Information I had read prior to playing this clip for y'all, because I read it this morning when I woke up. So Poland did come out and they said like, oh, it was an accident and we don't really want to do anything. They want to, they don't want to pursue Ukraine, right? And I think it hit like a farm or some farmland. They said at the time I read this morning, they said two people had died. Now, by the time I put this up, if there's more, then there's more. But at the time of me recording and what I read, they said two people had died. So if, if they don't want to push it, that's fine. My thing is, there was people saying that, oh, it was um, the, what, the missile was going after, like, because I guess Russia has this whole airstrike in the sky thing type going on. They were trying to take one of them out and it missed and that's how it hit Poland and caused whatever destruction it caused there. But to sit there and be like, oh yeah, that's Russia's fault. I don't know, it was just weird. Cause yesterday everybody's like, oh, look what Russia did. And everybody was ready to jump on Russia. Cause they like, oh, you y'all about to start World War Three up in here. But then today it's like, whoops, it was an accident, but like two people still died. 
I think that's weird. I'm not saying I'm on either side of the fence. I'm just talking out loud. I, I, I think that mentality from people is weird. They wouldn't say it was an accident if, if Russia did it. You know what I'm saying? If, if, the, if it was flipped, it wouldn't make sense if it was flipped. But they, I don't think that would be the sentiment to it. Like if we was beefing with, who are we next to? If we was beefing with Canada or Mexico and something X like popped off over here, I don't think you guys would be saying, oh, that was just an accident that that hit that city in North Dakota, that farm. It was just a family. It was an accident. I don't think that would be the sentiment. That's why I think it's weird from just looking at it from a human perspective. But um, what do you guys think about what's going on with, with Russia and Ukraine? I think, honestly, I think we shouldn't be involved, period. I don't think we should be keep sending money over there when there's problems here at home that need to be addressed. But that's just me. That's just me. What do y'all think? What do y'all think about what's going on over there? Let me know in the comment section below. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you never miss when I drop a video. Uh, stay up to date by hitting that community tabs on my channel. And until next time, you already know who it is. It's Sang. Yeah,